Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Smark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a video about what is the best VPN to get for a dedicated IP. Now, not a ton of VPNs offer dedicated IPs, but as you can see from this person in my Discord server, a lot of people do like them. The cool thing about a dedicated IP, if you didn't know, is that it basically gives you an anonymous IP that you can use with your VPN consistently. Now, VPNs primarily are used for people for anonymous reasons. Um, getting random IPs is mostly a good thing. However, sometimes when you're using a VPN, you want some basic layer of anonymity, but you also want a consistent IP so websites recognize you. Um, they're not going to see a real IP, but they will see this IP given from a VPN provider. Now, this can be very useful when accessing banking services, various game web services, or even certain websites that just serve up annoying captchas. Probably one of the biggest cons of VPNs um, while using them is having to do more captchas. Um, certain websites will even kind of reckon you, recognize you as a VPN user, and this can create problems. This is why dedicated IPs are sometimes even good for streaming or unblocking a lot of websites around the world. Um, so that is a really good pro about it. So which VPNs are good for dedicated IPs? Well, like I said, there isn't a ton of VPNs that offer them. Um, but in this video, I've rounded up some of the top ones on my tier list, and I'm going to be talking about which one you might want to consider using. So guys, some of the popular options out there are going to be something like Surfshark, NordVPN, and TorGuard. Now, each one of these services kind of has their own interesting thing about it. Now, Surfshark is a pretty big VPN provider that does provide dedicated IPs. However, the con with Surfshark and its dedicated IP system, as far as what I know about it, is that you have to kind of apply it to your entire subscription and this can get very expensive. So let's say if you have, um, you know, two years or something like that, you'll have to add on a dedicated IP to that in turn, uh, current plan. Um, I did see someone in my Discord server talking about this and it does seem like it's gonna get pretty expensive if you wanna use this long term. So that is definitely a con with Surfshark but it is an option that you could check out if you really do like Surfshark. Next up, we have NordVPN. Um, NordVPN also offers a dedicated IP service. Um, I haven't really tested it out too much. Um, like I said, you know, so this one is 369 a month, and I think this one is pretty similar, about the same price. Um, so example, a month to month dedicated IP costs around $9 a month, but a year subscription breaks down to 60 a month. Um, so it's pretty similar to Surfshark, I do believe. Um, and like I said here, it does access or provide you some of the benefits like I was discussing, captures and stuff like that. Um, you can access a specific website, whether you wanna do whitelisting and stuff like that for various emails or anything other things like that. Dedicated IPs can be useful. Um, so both Surfshark and Nord are pretty similar. You know, they're owned by, you know, kind of like the same company, the holding company. Um, so honestly, you know, one or the other are kind of interchangeable. Now, TorGuard is a little bit different, and I think this is going to be my recommendation for this video. The cool thing about TorGuard is that you could sign up for a new account, even if you really do have one. But if you're a new customer as well, that's good um, because they have a, uh, they have uh, the, I don't think it's, yes, yes, it is this one. Okay, so you have different plans available. Um, um, it's gonna add it to the cart and then you wanna customize it here. That's what I should have done. So there's different options. So let's say you wanna get it for a year. Um, it's gonna be around $120. Um, so, but we do have, but we do have code Tom Pro. This is gonna give you 50% off. So not only are you gonna get Torger VPN, you're gonna get that dedicated IP as well for $60 a year, which is very good. So with Nord and Surfstrike, I do believe, According to the pricing, um, it says it would be more like 60, 70, 80 dollars a year um, just for the dedicated IP on top of the VPN, um, which one year right now is going for around a one year plan standard uh, around 70. So it's going to be around 130, 140 dollars a year. So, yeah, this is a much better deal. 60 dollars. Not only that, but you could do a three year plan. And that's going to be even cheaper, $125. Um, you really start getting some really good so cost savings um, long term with this. So that is very good. Um, so guys, as you can see, um, this I think is a clear one to go to. Now with TorGuard's application, the way you put it in is you, um, first of all, you're going to submit a support ticket to request the IP in the range you want. Um, the support answers really fast. You go to settings um, and then you're going to go to the server tab and then just add a dedicated IP right here. 
which is really nice. And then you can pretty much um, find it in your server tab here. You can even kind of favorite them, um, sort them and stuff like that. See dedicated IPs, there you go. I don't have one right now. And then yeah, so really nice. Um, so overall, I recommend TorGuard for this video. Um, it's by far the cheapest option for a dedicated IP. And I always recommend it as the VPN to go with a dedicated IP. NordVPN and Surfstrike aren't bad though, if you wanna check out those as well. I'll put links in the description down below. Um, as you guys know, none of these videos are sponsored. I'm just giving you the objective information in terms of what is cheapest and best in my opinion. Anyways guys, also if you want, um, you might not like Surfshark or Nord maybe for this purpose of this video, but that um, Surfshark does have a really good um, data removal tool called Incogni. And you can see the little text there on the screen right now. Use my link down below if you want to remove information about yourself on the internet um, so you don't get doxxed. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this honest and video. Check out the Discord and I'll see you again very soon.